Alrighty guys, hey there, welcome everybody. Alright, we are good to go. Just updated the mods. Looks like most people are on Higgins Moon. I don't know what we're doing there. We got plenty of ore. Kind of surprised people are on there. Maybe, uh, maybe there's n nothing, nothing else for them to do. But, uh... Let's uh let's let's hop in and see and see what's going on. Watching the stream instead of being on comms, forgot charger from the notebook. Rut row. Just hopped in to say hello before I have to go to a meeting for job searching. Well, hello, demon. Um, Sonic, good luck, man. You'll do great at the interview. I wish you luck, and apparently something broken. That's great. Am I not going to be able to play this today? Come on, man. Work with me, game. Instant drop. I have never had that happen, actually, believe it or not. I've had a lot of problems, but this has not been one of them. You have quiet background noise, mic broke for sound settings? Uh, no. Does anyone else hear it? It might be my air conditioning. Maybe. Or maybe it's on your end. Great. 99 problems. <laughs> so apparently I uh, I can't play Clustoria. Uh, That's fantastic. Uh, CERN is still not updated, so we can't hop on there. There was... Um, I wanted to look at the Red Circuit thing. I wonder if I can join this one. It's an interview. It's not an interview. It's someone to help me do my resume and find places to work. Well, still, Demon gonna be good turn the volume up I hear the AC in the background you can do it in Factoria I believe in you it all working fine for me I don't know man uh, I'm trying to find this red circuit world what one was it even uh, gears smelting we have two Vandenbergs apparently and two Silicon Valleys but it wasn't Silicon Valley, I don't think. What the hell is this other Red Circuit world called, guys? I don't even remember the one I was on yesterday. Was it... Was it, um... No, that's Smelter. Was it Texas? How, how, how am I not able to find that? You idiot. Game. I'm blind. Let's see if I'm just getting dropped from like every single thing. That would be, uh, that'd be pretty unfortunate. Okay, so apparently Higgins Moon is just the one that's broken for me. Well, that kind of sucks. And I'm apparently stuck here, too. Um, okay, so... What the actual hell? This is not, um... What I expected. Alright, well, not many of these are running. Uh, because... Wow, okay, really? What? 
We're making 200k a minute here. And... This wasn't... This wasn't Texas Inter Instruments, I didn't think. I don't think this is the one I was on yesterday. Was it? Maybe it was. Um, oh, okay, so I can type in a word afterwards. So, wow, we're doing 200k here. And, like, the update's great, man. So these builds are super efficient, then. 1,300 mining prod, which means we finished bot speed 23. That's insane. So we have bot speed 23. Uh, our bot's currently 1,410%. Uh, and then, wow, this mining productivity is a little bit nuts. So, yeah, I mean, this uses, like, 100 and, like 200 bots per build, which is pretty freaking good. Well, damn. So this thing is in good shape. I don't know why we have turrets. Like... Oh, I guess I guess there are biters. But pollution's off. So, like, we're never going to get attacked. So I don't really know why we have turrets. In fact, there's really no reason to have turrets at all. But... Okay, sweet. So... Looking at the cloud, I mean, we have we have five million red circuits. Like that's not a problem. Um, we have science pack one, two, three. I mean, we're all good on science. We must just be cranking science out like crazy. Uh, I guess I'm gonna hop on Nexus and actually see if we have all the labs on. That's gonna be a bit interesting. Uh, there's three people on Nexus, so let's let's see if I'm able to join that one. Right, I have and not need them. Well, yeah, exactly. Uh, so how much more do you need to be done? Uh, I don't, I mean, maybe we are done. Like, I feel like we are, unless we're just not doing science. But everything is, like, at the buffer. I don't see an apparent shortage of anything at the moment. So we might actually be at the 60k mark, which is pretty ridiculous. I might actually hop in full chat and see what's going on. The purgatory. Hey there, guys. Hello. Yeah. Oh, Fluffy, I just said uh, removing the beacons and switching them to minus would um, get rid of 100% speed, but it's actually 200% speed because the miners are getting hit by beacons on both sides of the rails. Oh, blimey. So, you, know you, yeah, you're removing four beacons per, per miner. Hmm, blimey. And then adding uh, a miner again that's being hit by four beacons as well. So it's basically the same thing. Okay. So, uh, are we, like, done? Like, I don't see any problems. Yeah, it's, it's, it looks like we're done. <laughs> I mean... It, it... I'm, I'm, I'm currently just optimizing mining worlds. Yeah, like, I don't see anything else major that... Because everything's working and there's plenty of buffer and stuff. There's, well, there's a few servers that are not exactly at 60 UPS. Oh, really? Yeah, you can check the UPS bot channel in the... Plasterio of... Yeah, there's... There's a certain channel there. I didn't even know that was a thing. It's, it's new. It uh, was added okay. like an hour ago. Where is this? Um, underneath Clusterio desyncs and Clusterio game chats, there's UPS bots. I do not see that at all. Like it's just not. I have In Clusterio game chat, Clusterio desyncs, and then I have server stuff, which is a voice chat. The bot channels disappeared as well for me. Oh, see, I'm not the only one. UPS bot. Well, oh, but that doesn't even link to anything, Blooper. It's like gone. Oh, really? That's weird. Yard is gone now. Are you banned? Someone break the bot. It should be accessible to everybody. No, I can see it. 
No, because that, if I had a UPS a port, I wouldn't be allowed to have it still open like I do because I haven't clicked into another channel. No, I can just kicked open out it. Of it. I'm I'm also part. I'm a patron for the FMMO, so it's probably some something borked with the permissions. Uh, hey, Raven, man, what's going on? People want to uncap the cloud stores and see how this will run at full power. Well, I mean, it already runs at full power, right? Like, does uncapping the cloud storage really do much? Exterminator, you were on Silicon Valley last time. Is that where I was on, Minecraft? Okay, I guess so. I, I thought maybe, but I wasn't sure. Ah, so... Oh, wait. Um, there's, there's the Clusterio... Uh, Clusterio... Um role and there's the Clusterio internal role maybe that's the difference well but i should be Clusterio internal role yes but i'm the, you're not the normal Clusterio role uh well that wouldn't make sense for the higher role to not be able to see it sure it doesn't make sense but the, it could I mean, be currently yeah. the permissions are clearly wrong uh, wait, have you gone into the bot stuff channel and done exclamation point clusterio? No. If you do that, it'll add you to the group. Well, where the hell is bot stuff? Oh, there we go. It's at the top. Clusterio. Oh. Duh. Oh, no, I can see it. So, is this like how up to. Okay, so this is pretty up to date. Like 10 minutes ago. So pretty much the only the major thing then is Shelly of Binks, whatever world that is, or Erebor. Just smelting. Okay, so it looks like it's mostly like the issue the UPS issues around smelting and mining worlds. Yeah, and it's all really minor, like a few a few frames. Yeah. <laughs> minor. Minor. I'll be back. Uh, which like on the mining worlds, I think is not that much of an issue because I mean we have more ore than we possibly know what to do with. Yeah, and Hagen's moon is running fine. It's saying fifty four in in the overview, but it's clearly running at sixty currently. Right. Uh, thank you so much for that follow, uh, Spas Spasitel. And uh, how many hours do you have in Factorio exterminate? Hey. Prime Pico. Uh, I have like four or five thousand hours, I believe. Estimation. I don't play a lot on Steam, so I can't just like look at my hours, unfortunately. Nexus needs everything except the lads moved out and see how many lads we can push and then convert to bots. Why? Why would we do that though? PSI. Like these belt builds are really efficient. I don't see a reason to convert this to bots. And why do you need more labs? It's just gonna like, unless you plan to ramp every single step up to a higher pack count, which maybe is the plan. It's not. It's just gonna break everything. Like if you add, if you just add more labs, the packs won't keep up, and then it's just pointless. Transport lines are like four point five. Like it's that's like less than half the update. So if you get rid of all this other crap. Well, all this other stuff is bought anyway. Well, not not all of it, I guess. There are belted stuff, but this for this many labs, I think these belt builds are actually pretty efficient. Hey, Jason, what's going on? How are you doing? Oh man, poor T Bone. Trying to catch up. What map is that? Nexus. Was uh, were the satellites moved from Nexus already? Uh, we were talking about that a few hours ago, but I haven't I haven't left the mining server. I don't see them. So I guess so. I, guess so. I mean, if science is running, I assume they're being made elsewhere. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, they are. Um, let's see. I was about to say something, and now I just forgot completely. Oh, I want to 
By the way, I just seen my addition to the to the rope launching uh, base. Oh yeah, I have to go check that out. Because we needed, we actually needed uh, more silos. Because one silo can't actually launch a rocket every minute. Yeah, it's like slightly more than that. Yeah, it's slightly more than sixty-one actually. We, I, I timed it uh, yesterday, two days ago, something like that. I used the circuit to time the exact ticks between launches. And we basically need 62 silos. Wow. So we, wow. built, we built an extra one somewhere along the row in the center where the path was. Mm -hmm. And I built another mm -hmm. one all the way in the west with its own production. You'll see. Oh, nice. You're looking at satellite production, staring right at it. Oh. Well, it's like under like all these like to-do lists or labels. Um, I guess satellite production is still on here. <laughs> you just looked over it. But it's like not UPS intensive at all. No, it's a pretty good build, but we wanted to have the Nexus only yeah, do as much science as possible. And it wasn't that six UPS this afternoon. Well... I mean, a lot of this, can, like, I don't think we need any more landfill made at this point. Right. And. Or less. Or less. Um, Though what, the landfill production should all be inactive entities, right? Maybe. Can or you mostly see? Mostly inactive entities. Freaking network. I mean, so I was saying in my chat about PSI yes, was saying about making the the pack builds bot base, but honestly, I feel like these belt based ones are actually probably equally as efficient as trying to do this many labs with bots. Yeah, I really like the designs. I really like all all those science designs as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, the only one we had to do with bots was the yellow sign, so it was just undoable with belts. But yeah, yeah, I mean, of course. J JD calculated how many, uh, well, calculated and then and then visually showed how many wire belts we'd need. It basically went was the the the, the same width as, as the entire square in which we could which we could build in. Oh Jeez. God. Um. So yeah. So yeah. Look, we have three million landfill in the cloud. I'm pretty sure we don't need any more made, ever. Well, well same never as say we never. In case we do. Or just leave one. I'm going to have the Nexus as well. Yep. I haven't been there in a while. Actually, I'm going to just really quick switch to a binding prod so I can see how quickly this goes. It does, it does preserve research progress, right? Yeah. Of course. I always forget if they actually did that or not. Yep, they did. Next one was. I'll be back. Dude, okay, so stream, chat, look at this. We are researching a research that's 131,000 packs. And look how quick this thing is going. I mean, it's going to take two minutes. Uh, so, someone, are you planning to go for the next run with some mod packs, Angel Bob, maybe, or are you done with the Clustorio? Um. People had mentioned Angel Bobs yesterday, and I feel like, yeah. In the, uh, one hand, it sounds fun. Like um, this is this isn't going really going to go any further than this. I I think. I mean, from now on, it's just adding more servers doing the same things. Mm -hmm. um, because Adding we're just needless have, complexity yeah, is probably the best thing we can program. do. Angel, Angel Bobs could be interesting, but the, the thing is, the modules are so overpowered. Yeah, like, the... I feel like Angel's Bobs, like, at first, it'll maybe be more interesting, because there's all the different parts we have to do, but after that, it's going to be almost even more, like, pointless than this is at this point, right? Like, yeah, like... We'd, we'd have to have some kind of limitation, like, 
set up angels the... bobs without um, any of the bobs module stuff turned yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, just delete, delete all the module stuff. Have vanilla modules, something like that. But even so, would, dude. Even, even so, though, they bobs has like level like eight assemblers and stuff, which are still ridiculous. And like the level, you know, on the bots that move at like robot speed forty or some crap. Let's be realistic. Those bots move in a factor of C. Yeah, like. I think it would still be kind of ridiculous. Yeah. I'm more impressed that this is running at 60 FPS, but I'm sure everyone else is too. Well, I mean, the server is running at 60 FPS for me. It. Yeah, it's not for me. Yeah, I'm running it at like 55. 50. Oh yeah. It's an 18 millisecond uh, update for me. Yeah. Why do we have the follow of robot on such a high count? Because why not? <laughs> it's it's <laughs> great. Like, look how fast it goes. <laughs> That's why. It's not usable. It's usable you, as, a, as a resource thing. Have you tried it? If we're going to do resource things, we should just do bot speed. That's not that fun. You don't get to see it move. Uh, uh, Laura, hey, dude. This is my first time catching... A stream, so happy to be here. Well, I'm happy to have you here. Welcome. And, dude, geez, in $100, I think this will be better than bits. <laughs> oh, my God, man. You are ridiculous. Thank you so much. That is indeed better than bits. It may not be quite as flashy as bits, but it is uh, definitely more cost-effective for both you and me. Thank you so much, Jason. That is, that is so generous of you. Thank you so very much, man. Wow, that helps. That helps immensely. You can change the values for modules in the settings, but the higher tier beacon assemblers is also crazy. Well, yeah. So that's pretty much what I was saying. Pocket Pocket Dread is like even if the modules are gone completely, you still have these assemblers and beacons that are just absurd. Where well, you could just do like 60k science in one server. Yeah. Yeah, with the with the regular modules, it's, it sounds pretty pretty cool. So, mm -hmm. but even but even especially the angels with... part, I feel like these huge refineries. Well, angels part, like, but but what, but even with Bob's dude, like when you get these like level six beacons and assemblers, you can still produce like I don't know, like thirty thousand science, just everything on one server. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like these machines are like a base speed of like five and then like level six beacons that you can fit like 15 level three speed well, modules can, in or something. We can easily limit those as well, though. We would have to set up a fun type game, like yeah. disable the yeah. bobs modules, disable the increased beacons because those are really, really overpowered. Uh, or we could maybe not and have everything on the death world. Hmm? Or we could not do that and have everything on the death world. But is that but more then fun? we're going to run just, into UPS limitations. It just sounds more th well, That's just maybe, grindy, maybe. though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Eventually, we'll have the artillery, and it'll just automate itself. Oh, yeah, that's another thing we need. Automated landfill and automated cliff explosive. Yeah. Oh, now that PSI in my chat just had a really interesting idea. That, if I'm understanding them correctly or maybe even change it a little bit is like maybe have it be a little bit competitive or something because he says have like do multiple teams like do two teams and assign each team to like four or five nodes and then like each team does like a certain thing or maybe each team does like sees how much science they can get out of those nodes or something Oh, so could be of those nodes then. Hmm? Ultimately, we're we'll limited by the processor speed of those nodes then. Yeah, that is true. So the team that has the 5 gigahertz node will be expected to beat the team that has the 2.5 gigahertz node. Well, I mean, you were kind so, of... So well, what, about, what about we have, five, we have five actual computers that, that all run one node for each team? Well, if they can be, like, equal processing power computers, which might be kind of difficult. Well, the, the computers themselves don't have to be equal power. 
Like you have one oh, server no. which is running five nodes for five different teams, and then have five of those servers. So you all basically have the same collection of, of, of five different servers. That could be cool. I mean, that, that would be, that'd be kind of equal. Um, I'm still quite fond of the idea of do this again now with Bob's Angel Marathon. Same go. And uh, la and um, C block. No. Um, competitive cluster sounds like an exercise in throwing all your free time at other team. Yeah, that is true. Uh, uh, so in my chat, G H six. That's pretty much exactly Bob's Angels. What you're tr talking about. Um, so I'm confused. Why do we have what? Why do we have rocket parts being made on Nexus? I For the satellites. The satellites. Yeah, but how are rocket parts? Oh, I thought they were being uh, put in, in rocket the fuel and, and low density structures. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this whole if. I guess, like, if all that part was moved somewhere else, that would maybe save some UPS. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's about the entire entire satellite production. It's all locally made. Right. I mean, the builds themselves are pretty efficient, but it's, I mean, it's still, it counts. Right. I mean, Vandenberg is running, like, uh, how many of those? <laughs> yeah, like 100 or we something. We don't even want to know. Yeah, Ridiculous. and it's running fine. I do want to go check out Vandenberg, but I'm I'm fascinated by just watching this mining prod fly by. Twenty six hundred and forty percent productivity. Wow. And uh, a bunch of rats. Thank you for the follow a few minutes ago. Sorry, I missed that. And come pick up. Think someone destroyed my my counter. Oh, there we go. God damn it! Oh no! Oh, he just turned it off. Okay. You can you check the? Are you still on um, on Nexus? Mm-hmm. Check uh, check on the map. And, and then underneath the signs, there's a counter you can view from the map. I mean... If you turn on the, the power pole grid. Oh. I see... Zero, zero, zero? Should be five, eight, and five, eight, comma, five, seven, comma, something. Oh, wow, okay. That's harder to read than I thought. <laughs> okay, I see it now. Are you, are you colorblind? <laughs> no, but like I didn't expect. It's like not really what I was expecting. Fair enough. It's, yeah, this it's, it's not a... that readable, but it's 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 a counter. Yeah, I mean it's something for sure. This isn't a very interesting graph. <laughs> <laughs> no, not very interesting. <laughs> Too low resolution. <laughs> Just make it only to read the top 10, like between 50 and 60. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, how fast is That'd be a bit more interesting. Mining and do it, like, well, do it like 63 to 55. Uh, how fast is your mining when you're at 1300 plus with the research? It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I, it's, uh, it, it, it literally just breaks productivity bars. Um, I have some. Let me see if I can show you. It's absolutely absurd. Current production screen rate doing 63k. Yeah, I'm not really sure where that's coming from. Um, so yeah, let me uh, let me show you this. It's a little bit ridiculous. There's actually like no. 
Yeah, basically a single miner fills a blue belt at, at, <laughs> at this point. Um, there's like, oh, there's oil here. I'll show you with oil because it works the same way pretty much. And uh, it's pretty broken. I mean, like it still it still counts the productivity, but the bar, the the actual visual representation of the productivity bar, is just totally broken. Did I not? Did I did I get any of this? Oh, I did. Okay. Maybe like a tank too. Okay. Because there was some oil uh, oil right up here. I actually haven't looked at this in a while myself, so this should be pretty interesting. Okay, so if we take this... Boom. Boom. Throw it into a tank. Alright, so there you go. This... It, it uh, pretty much just breaks the uh, productivity bar completely. I mean, you can see this one mining drill is one mining drill it, with with sh crappy pro uh, crappy percent too is filling this up at like 200 oil a second, essentially. I'm probably not gonna be as fun. Uh, yeah, marathon. I'm not really a fan of. And what is it? We got to the ability where we can get the first get chest inside two minutes, and we got blueprints for doing that as well. <laughs> because have only you seen uh, Mel's um, bootstrapping blueprint? Well, I mean, yeah. eventually the bottleneck is the amount of science labs we can run in one server. Pretty much. Provided we're right. doing one run research at a time. And if that becomes a bottleneck, we can just separate that into two different science servers doing fixed researches each. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where this is the robot speed server, this is the productivity server. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Wasn't, weren't they talking about uh, syncing research to all servers? Well, it is. Pretty much. I mean, I mean, like, like the, uh, yeah, research, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about like the research bar. So like you could actually have two different servers researching the same exact thing. Oh, I, I didn't know if they were looking into that or not. Well, if they work out how to do that, they've effectively made Clusteria in a way how to um, trade between servers in a regular game instead of being its own thing. Right. Which would be quite cool. I'm at 404% on my save, but my UPS is down to 30. Oh, no. <laughs> so it doesn't seem that fast. Yeah, when that UPS drops, man, it... It definitely slows stuff down. Only thing I can come up with is to first having to do a research to unlock a new server, but while that can be a resource thing, it doesn't sound like that much fun. Yeah, the the pro there's not really like when you when you get to a certain scale, there's only so much you can do to make it entertaining. Like in the end, it kind of all comes back to the same type of thing. It's like it doesn't really differ that much. There's also this graph and graphs and counters. Yeah, this stuff is really cool. I think Blooper and Dizwan did most of it. I haven't been able to catch up at all. What's the point of this mod set and such? Um. Yeah. So. Uh, Rick Marlowe, pretty much as Skelter said, um, it's multiple servers working together to um, uh, to do 60,000 science a minute, essentially. Yeah, this graph is pretty awesome right here. Uh, so I want to go check out the mining world 
or not mining, sorry, the rocket world. I haven't been there in quite a while, actually. And uh, and see see what we can uh, see. What we can see. Space science has one point three in the network. Right. That counter does not stay above 60k. That was still some work left. I'm not sure that counter is accurate. Because if you look at the production, or not the production, the consumption on Nexus, it shows a steady like 63k science being consumed per minute, even though the counter is dropping below 60. Yeah, the counter accurately uh, represents the amount of science packs flowing in, which can fluctuate a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't average over that long of a time. The, the actual graph from the in-game production graph is just a lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the in-game production graph averages over five seconds. The counter, what is it, one second average? Not even that? No, it does. it does, it does a kind of... Weird kind of average. Wait, can we not? Wait, 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 wait. Are you not on this rock? Are you not able to pull up the rocket GUI? No. Why not? No idea. You gotta be kidding me, dude. I wanna see how many rockets we've launched. Well, you can you can hover over one of the silos to see how many rockets that silo has launched. Uh, well, but... <laughs> I wanna see a total. This is ridiculous. Why can't um, you... Doesn't the all-time production show the amount of rockets made? It doesn't show rockets. It shows rocket parts. Uh, so then you'd have to, like... Well, yeah, and then, but then there's some... Uh, 37 million rocket parts divided by 100. I don't know that it really... I guess I would give you a rough number. Yeah, 370,000 rockets. 370,000. Just a couple. Just a couple. I mean, that seems close Hello. looking at these silos. Each one's done like 6k. Uh-huh. Oh, dude, this is so satisfying to watch these rockets go off. Wow, the silo that we actually put in last here uh, like yesterday or two days ago, already you lost more than 3,500 rockets. Oh my god. Went pretty quickly. I think we could definitely hit a million rockets launched. We might already hit it. Have... No, I don't think so. It's like. So are we, okay. are we done? So, have you found the the sixty second, uh, well, the sixty first uh, rocket uh, silo again already? Do you like stick it out no, on wait. this island? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yes, I did. I have a quick question. Why do we only have sixty rocket silos if we need to launch a rocket a second, and yep, rockets take sixty one seconds to launch? We've got sixty two silos. Sixty two oh. silos even. It's it's hidden a little bit. Yeah. Uh, factory ASMO plus story across from with only 25 plus 25 building area for the chest. Some of the machines would be awesome. Really limited. That would be pretty interesting. Although, I mean, our space is already pretty limited, but that would be pretty interesting. Learn for sure. I think that those logic setups just makes me feel so dumb. I'm all smiles when I get a light to turn on the right setting even after one can. Uh, I, I'm the same way, Skelter. Like, I can't figure that stuff out either. Terminator, I work security up at Google and Boulder, and at least six of the engineers there all play Factorio. Damn, really, dude? That's awesome. Rick, uh, Boulder, we're we're pretty close, man. I'm I'm here in Denver. I didn't know you were in Colorado. That's awesome that a lot of them play Factorio. Um, oh, that's a way, Kegel. You could just look at satellites consumed, right? Does it does that does it count? Does it consume them? 
This is, it's actually not on here. Unless I'm blind. I mean, there's a production. I don't think it actually counts as a consumed item. Yeah, because satellites isn't on here. We live in Westminster. Oh, okay, I'll nice. I'll be back. Hey, Zentoxia, what's going on? Hey, Tommy. Oh, hey, I'm in Superior. Nice. I'm in Superior. Where's that? I live in a house. <laughs> oh, man, look at you all fancy. Press on consumption report for satellites. Yeah, like... You would think that would show it, right? I mean, it consumes a satellite. Off of the belt um, sequentially. So, so we the, 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 the first silo, the fourth silo, the seventh silo, etc., uh, launch in sequence, and then the second, and the fifth, and the and the eighth, etc. Now we need a MILF mod to fill those I'll be back. We have enough nukes, I'm pretty sure. So apparently, no one wanted to drown here that thing in Chernobyl. Because we would eventually run out of uh, uranium ore otherwise, I think. Yeah, it's looking like we need to increase our production of uranium ore at some point. And if I per rocket amount, yeah. So we we've launched about three hundred seventy thousand rockets. Um, actually, we ran out of uranium ore. That is not good. Seriously? Yeah, I removed one of the outposts, but it wasn't actually connected. So. Yeah, because on Chernobyl there's the build that is just splitting uranium or and nothing else and i don't know what exactly is supposed to happen but we have 13 13 million uranium 238s yeah and 600,000 uranium 235 we'll be fine for a while yeah that needs that means that i have to alter my builds again to import those instead of importing ore because i Basically, I build blocks of the whole chain from ore to finished product fuel cells, uh, nuclear fuel, and nukes, and uranium ammo on Chernobyl. And somebody built uh, just well, uranium. And somebody just made Chernobyl. cracking and enriching something we don't actually need. Yeah, it's like we have enough science packs. All the rocket silos are idling now mm -hmm. they're all ready for launch though <laughs> and if they there's all a launch reason why we... yeah there's a good reason why we didn't actually build the builds to go from enriched uranium from pre-enriched uranium and pre-regular uranium one it allows us to balance in the build so we don't end up too much reefer and two the more important one for us it does not do any local teleportation of items yes it, jd was complaining uh, today, because somebody edited the builds because or without changing the old bits, because I was uh, importing leftover uranium from the cloud, and it actually somebody also broke my wiring, which is. Uh, Wizok and Novio, thanks for the follows, guys. Welcome. You're talking about mods. Did you check out the DP77's mod? Um, I haven't even heard of that. Like, I'll, I'll look at it really quick. Uh, like I said in the YouTube comment, I mod packs aren't really... I don't think are really suitable for spotlights. Um, do, you, do you know the name of the mod pack? Because searching for... Oh, I guess I kind of found it. Wood production, ores... Sulfur. Huh. Looks somewhat interesting. If there is no 
Nothing to be produced. Uh, right. Machine he goes to sleep by default. Correct? With what? If nothing is to be produced because there's no supply in or then the machine sleep. They don't use UPS. Or do they? Yeah, they should go to sleep. Because I just cut the supply now. Um, what what world is uranium processing in? Chernobyl. 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 Forgot we had that. I used. Hey. And, uh, Fight with Dogma, thank you so much for that sub. I appreciate it. Welcome. Dominator, how are you doing sentencing your subscribers into Solar Purgatory? Do we need Solar Purgatory? Mm, yeah, but it's a funny thing to do to the subscribers. What, force them to build it? Yeah. I mean, I don't have that much solar that needs to be built. But they can get their self whitelisted for a mere two hours of solar purgatory. Yeah, guys, doesn't that sound great? Anyone want to apply? <laughs> oh, great. Apparently, I'm being dropped from this server, too. Guess I won't look at that stuff. There's That's... like four servers that I just can't join. Kind of sad. Because it's such a good bit. Yeah, I wanted to see this uranium, man. Game doesn't want to have anything to do. Any any of that though. So wow, I was expecting a lot more to do. I'm not really sure what what to do. <laughs> yeah, good question. Well, um, one more scenario you can find a train track to play on. I, oh, I, know, I know a nice train track to play on. I died there today. Really? You died? See, exterminates it perfect for you. It's not really yeah. that entertaining because I lag pretty hard on a lot of these, so it's like you just I just like lag into the track, like it's not even that funny. Mm -hmm. That does suck. We're waiting to find the bottleneck. If in doubt, build more mining outposts. Yeah, I guess we just wait to find the bottleneck if there is one. I mean, copper ore is a little bit low, but it seems like it's going up. Is Axia now functioning correctly with the pot chest? Yeah, I think the oh. question at hand. This far apparently doesn't work either. <laughs> Jeez, man. There you go, Xterm. What? In the Glacera General. <laughs> Dude, that's terrifying. Out of there. I'm pretty sure we have worse checks on uh, Erebor. I think we have something similar, but it's like... Four, two, four, two, or something crazy, and at some points. Is Aerobor not up right now? Actually, something we do quite need now is someone to make a auto research plugin for Closerio. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure. But also gets you so if anybody can get on that, please. But also, definitely gets you a whitelist if you do that. Yes, it'll instantly get you whitelisted. I'm pretty sure of that. Look, as soon as we can bring this plug into the attention of the wizards, by summoning them in the harshest way possible of, we found someone that can do sign magic that you can't, we'll get you whitelisted. Well, they can, they just can't be bothered. Right? I do not know how these wizards work, they are magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's a total mystery. It's a mystery to everybody. Yep. Yeah, I'm Apparently it's a mystery to myself included. <laughs> My kind of magic has been deleted from the game, though. Hmm. 
And what was your kind of magic then? Have you ever seen those splitter sorters? Oh, those. Oh, those. Most, most of those are mine. They are pretty impressive, actually. Splitter sorters? Oh, thank you. Yeah, those things that are now currently uh, native to splitters. <laughs> oh, I add those things. Yeah. You got, you got patched out. That's also. Achieved. So your magic didn't so much get removed from the game, the devs decided to start playing with it as well. <laughs> And they had an unfair advantage because they can just modify the game. Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay, so I'm actually in Erebor. This is horrifying. <laughs> like, holy hell. Why? It's the trend of copper, uh, uh, pocket of lips. Did you, like, can. <laughs> build this for nightmares? Oh my god, dude. No, that's the un original uh, train spaghetti. Oh jeez! I gotta I'm go investigate to... this. How about is Erebor? Basically, we needed more ore, so we added another build, and another build, and another build, and another build. Yeah, and... but yeah. these train tracks, like, is it necessary to have them like this? Probably not. <laughs> I haven't been on Erebor. I'm, I'm currently catching up. I'm really anticipating a mess. Like, the, no, they're not Can like. Someone send me a screenshot. They're not bad, but like, they're just ridiculous. Like, they're confusing. This, yeah, they're confusing. They're in their death. <laughs> you a death. I honestly like. I expect everybody in chat right now who's not sub to sub if I make it across one of these tracks, because I don't. This is like actually not possible. I don't think. It, just in a straight run. Um, I destroyed power uh, power armor on that server by getting an over off This server bad. <laughs> Oh, now everything's stopped, though. Aww. All right. well, that makes it, makes it easy. Well, damn, dude. Just as I was about to test this, it literally just all stopped. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I have to take my time catching up. I, I think we... Oh, this isn't is that bad. There's a lot of tracks, though, yeah. Well, it's bad when they're moving, but for some reason everything stopped. Probably because we hit a limit or something. Well, damn, we need to do this yeah. faster. I can override it if you want to. How do, how do you sure, think I got sure. out of the uh, the other pickle I was in in, the, in that gif? <laughs> the, the... Uh, El Brosh, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you so much. I haven't tried to cross it yet. I will, though. <laughs> thank you so much for that sub. Um, yeah, if we can override yeah, I it. Over... I see we're using a lot of miners on the uranium ore. Um, qu a quick note, all this to you, Extermial interested to hear this the miners on uranium ore never go to sleep just the uranium ore yes be there they have the added uh, pipes running through them of course they do it's always pipes man Damn. yep it's always pipes but so they don't go to sleep on belts they don't go to sleep on on the chests so actually removing a lot of those can be very helpful so everything should be running yeah i'm like Frozen in fear right now. Okay, ready, set. Oh no, I was about to go. It's <laughs> good to serve by that, I think. <laughs> and so this entire map is also non beacons. Oh jeez. Yeah. Got a lot of work to do then. These like, there's not even a gap for me to attempt to cross. All right. I literally just can't. Oh! <laughs> Stupid power pole. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> just like Have you we tried it making once. a special suit of, suit of armor for, trust, for crossing the tracks? I don't think you can, dude. I think even if you fill it completely with shields, you would still die. Damn, a lot of trains. These trains are I'm, huge. I'm jumping. Oh my god. I can't keep up with the server now. Yes, the server is actually overloaded on... on uh... Yeah, we should remove like half the miners and replace them with beacons. On trains. It's probably trains too. It's trains. Trains it's are really taking trains. almost four game update for me. Yeah. <laughs> Six for me, but, but the entity. Oh yeah, it's still it's about the same. Why is there so? Why are there so many trains? <laughs> Don't know. Uh, thank you so much for that sub, Raptor Shadow. Uh, I want to go try to cross again. That was uh, that was hilarious. I think Iron or Iron Man 3 or what is this? It's, that's actually too many trains or five. 
Yeah, you should you should you shouldn't have any trains like queuing on the main line. Almost none at least. So I'm having I could just imagine if it said literally half of these trains can go without any problem. Iron three is uh I think it's just was that way. I was told to take trains on until all of the um, loader tracks were full. Um, if you want, you can con up, connect Kappa 2, uh, Kappa 2. That's, that's also having still some trains. That... So I'm having people request Moving. me to fill my armor with shields and try it for science. Or science. I suggest we use a nuke and blow up some of these trains. No! No! <laughs> you always do try to solve your problems with nuclear weapons. Yes. Nuclear redesign is nice, but not for everything. It is for trains, though, because trains are a pain to pick up. Yeah, yeah I give you really my ammo for that. I feel... I think this is... It's still a nuclear option. <laughs> it's, it's more precise. It's more precise option. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, I did shoot quite a few trains on this map already. Because, I mean, there were older stations where you... If you look around, see remnants. But yeah, we gotta re we really gotta remove like half of these trains and redo this, all the this outposts. Go, this go, map go. has undergone so many changes. Dude, it's amazing. The shields, it just mowed me down with like 20 Mark II shields. There wasn't there wasn't even a hesitation of the shield going down. I was just dead. Oh nice, I can watch it now because I'm a thousand jumps behind. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and he died. <laughs> like I at least expected just like a second like of the shield going down, but no. Oh man, these these trains are insane. These trains are nuts, eight, man. They, they are eight engines, and I think something like twenty to thirty <laughs> wagons on most of them. And they're running on nuclear fuel. That's and the most nuclear. terrifying part. The nuclear powered trains. I like the death trap. Try it, Sounds trains. completely reasonable. It yeah, is okay, completely yeah. reasonable. What damage did that do? Does it show on the achievements or stat screen? I don't think it shows damage to me. I mean, I had like... 15... We should look at the kill kills. stats, though. How many players were killed here? That did like several thousand damage. Big kills all. It would be under yeah, losses, players. wouldn't it? Yeah, on the losses. 73. 73 people? Well, yes. two of them have been me. <laughs> <laughs> and roughly 10 to 15 have been me, I guess. I mean, at, at least one power armor I destroyed. I don't know how All many. Right. I know I can make this at least once. I just gotta time it. <laughs> Leaving yourself. Famous words. Do you think the problem Famous is with this acceleration, like, even if there's a gap, I just can't even... <laughs> okay, ready? Go and go. Oh. Uh, uh. Okay. Just floor it. I did. I made it. I made it, guys. <laughs> well, somebody has to subscribe, I, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone who has a Twitch Prime sub, check if you have a Twitch Prime sub. Hey, you chose the easy way. You yeah. have to go down here. Well, down where? On the, on the border. Between the solar field. Oh, where there's like 15 tracks? Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll try that. <laughs> but there's don't like have no to gap do at all. Like, I can't, there's like not any chance whatsoever. You can do it Frogger style. I mean, there's, there's gap to, to hold in. All right, well, let me get to one side so I can start on one side. <laughs> okay, and run now. And... Run out. Oh. oh, dude! I was over the fucking track! That's what I mean, the lag. I I was totally like 15 feet past the track. It was amazing to see it. I was also thinking, hmm, he has a gap, he has a gap. Oh, no. No. So I'm, I'm looking at the replay now because I'm so much behind. <laughs> well, this should burn some resources. <laughs> <laughs> Toby. Look like you yeah, had that's what I'm saying, man. 
Well, I've gone through like. You weren't even trying to cross things. the entire thing. You were just trying to get to one side. Well, yeah, so yes. I could cross the whole thing, but I couldn't even find a starting point. <laughs> You've walked around the those tracks from the start, from up there. Yeah, from up here. Yeah. More legs. I don't think more legs would help. Sometimes more legs makes it worse. Oh yeah, definitely makes it worse. They'll overshoot and just run it through the train again. Come on, I'm telling you, <laughs> it lags me into the damn track. Is there like, if player equals exterminator, drag yes, to man. track when train is nearby? We talked to the devs recently. And jump the train two tiles forward? Yeah, and jump the train two tiles <laughs> forward. Did you enable that mod that someone made, made for you where, you, where you, you walk into a train when it's near? Yeah, someone did make that, yeah. You, you haven't had it in, in, enabled a chance? <laughs> no, but it may have gotten put into the game. Uh, why did the well, exterminator cross yeah, the road? Yeah, haven't you seen the new RSO patch notes? He never could. <laughs> Trains. <laughs> um, no, PSI, like the, the legs, man. I'll put more legs in, but they just make it worse. Like, because you, you don't have any fine movement ability. You definitely overshoots. Most of the times when I die to trains, it's because I run from from one train and then get run over by another and another track. Mm-hmm. Eagle Sturm, delay movement by 10 ticks, increase train speed by 100 kilometers an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Last ball by providing Sturm with armor is infeasible. <laughs> yeah, I'm burning a lot of materials this way. This should clear up some buffers. <laughs> oh, now it's dark. This is even more terrifying. All right, and oh, oh, oh I don't see the headlights oh, coming though. And run for it. Hey, Brita, it's been a while since I've seen you, too. How are you doing? Playing some Frogger. Chain mod that gives you a new fuel is top tier 1 of the thousand acceleration. Oh, jeez. I really want to try to cross these main tracks if I can actually get to a starting point. Okay, okay, we're good. I'll get on the path. In for a challenge, zoom in 100%. <laughs> yeah, like I need a harder challenge. There's just no, there's no gap. <laughs> That's why more legs don't help. That's a perfect example. I just ran straight into another train when I didn't mean to. I wouldn't run under concrete too. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that can't help. Some journeys were getting up to five minutes. Yeah. Gaps are for noobs. <laughs> yeah, this world is pretty insane. I didn't expect this. Think you could train hop across? That would be interesting. Not with the lag, I don't think. I think you can. But you have to go to the other side because you get ejected. Oh, you get ejected out the left side, don't you? On the left? Or toward the right? I'm not sure. The left the side, I believe, yeah. Yes. Oh, you could use that to your advantage. No, ah! Uh, you get ejected on the side that's driving. Uh, on the left side, uh, direction of travel. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Toby! <laughs> <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, the, left side, the left side of the train. Right. Fucking A. Oh, we just died together. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think um. I don't. I don't know. I don't think train hopping would work. I want to try it, but I can't even get over there without dying. Um, this place has a lot of trains. I'd love to try, but I can't even move. 
I'm currently f four and a half thousand jumps behind. Oh jeez, those trains are massive. Yeah, these trains are ridiculous. Those are for all auto capture. Maybe. Um. What am I? Oh, there's a train. I don't know what you have. I did it. You did it. Yeah. Wait, train I hopping mean, or running? Style. Uh, running, not in one straight line. The frog has died, so waiting. Right. Well, I can't even. I just lag into him, though. So, is there any chance we could disable the iron ore trains? <laughs> yes. Uh, which one of the iron ore stations? No, you just have to go to the circuit uh, in the center and. Next to the circuit in the center is a constant combinator. You have to disable that one <laughs> or delete the. No, no, you can just um, make the, the limits higher. The other server can... No! I added a constant combinator for the easy way out. To activate all trains. <laughs> oh, okay. That doesn't work. You can override it. I don't see it. The server is officially insane. Well, that, that was fun. Um, and ZZ Tough, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. Welcome. This was, uh, this was a lot of fun. If only we could get Will on here to start driving one of these around, that would be hilarious. Oh, the malware go off now. That's the good part about those uh, brains. You can override them easily if you want to trash stuff. Constant Combinator. So, wow, just in this world we've produced 8 billion iron ore. Not bad. Yeah, was a bit. We also produced 72 portable solar patterns in this world. <laughs> a modest amount. <laughs> and 68 cars. Ah. Wow. Oh, that's impressive. That Why impressive. are we producing cars? <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of cars, man. I still want the so, race um, How many trains do you want on this track? Which? Mm. I think we could do with station times two. Uh, all the trains would be dead if I was on there. <laughs> Wait, you just nuked the train, so? I need to watch this on YouTube later. Sucks to be late to a stream. No worries, Brita. Yeah, this will go up on YouTube tonight if you want to watch it there for sure. Um, but yeah, things are going pretty well. I mean, in summary, I think we're pretty much there. There's not much left to do. We're making 60k science, we're consuming 60k science, there's not really any noticeable shortages. Um, we're trying to burn through our buffer, but, I mean, everything's keeping up so far. So, I think we're pretty much in good shape. Would achieve more, that's probably true, because it's less entities. And just putting two beacons in place of each miner, uh, one beacon in place of each miner should give the same output for most of those. If you look yeah, at it, even, I'm, I'm gonna completely tear all those, those up. I, yeah, uh, I, I won't stop you, uh, just it's just miners, use, use, use filter deconstruction, it's not that bad because you have, don't have to clear chests or something well so, so. well no because we've got to remove like half the trains yeah but i'll probably just, just shoot those mm. um i don't want to be there do that <laughs> so is our mine okay. productivity so high now that we don't even need beacons on these miners into the trains oh no you do you do want beacons on them um there was conflicting information, which is why this word is probably built wrongly now. I would yeah, because like yeah, I was talking to a guy in the in the chat the afternoon, and he was like, "Yeah, at, at product productivity four thousand or so, uh, a miner will fill a cargo wagon in one second." And I'm like, "No, it won't. Here's no. the math. It'll take like a minute." <laughs> yeah, you need these needed to be beacon, but I'm not gonna tear yeah, them all up. The thing, thing about beacon is that you yeah, can basically reach the same output without having 
with having much less entities for the miners, I think. Yeah, more, much more outputs. Probably. Actually. Yeah, actually. Yes, because million. I can, I can get it. Currently, there's just four miners into a one wagon. Of course, one beacon is. And I can million. put it so there's uh, one miner on each side of the wagon, each being hit by eleven beacons. Well, that sounds like something you should do. As yeah, as well. yes. get, get started on that, man. <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for the trains to settle down so my jumps can catch up. I'm currently at uh, 8,000 of them. I, I can shut down the whole server if you want to. That's what do you mean? Also, yeah, like if, you turn put everything constant, off. if you put a constant combinator in and set the signals to minus two at least yeah just just yeah disable all the trains oh, it would be cool if they added something like the start of the base game maybe shoot up and land a rocket for supplies yeah i mean that would be cool i think i mean that was kind of the end game they were planning initially but then straight away from it um i think as it stands they're not going to do much else like feature wise or, or uh objective wise in the game uh, maybe an expansion they did mention something like that which would be pretty cool but uh, as far as the clustorio project goes we have pretty much hit um our objective nothing is dropping in the cloud and we are consuming science at a steady 60k a minute everything is mostly keeping up it actually looks like well actually most all, most of sciences except space science have dropped below a million so maybe, oh, that might just be a buffer, actually. I'm not sure. I mean, all we can do is just keep researching until something breaks. So that's pretty much what, um, that's pretty much what's going on. I, I don't know what else to do for this stream. Like I anticipated there being more stuff broken to fix, but until we can run out our buffers more in the cloud and like do more stuff to see what breaks. There's not much that really needs to be done, and I don't want to like fiddle with things that, that, that maybe shouldn't be touched. He said the goal too low, just double the goal. I mean, we thought about that, Skelter, but at that point, it's like not really that interesting, because it literally is just then copy what we've already done on the more servers. I mean, like the thrill of it was the initial builds and like scaling, but. At that point, you're just adding more servers and then just copy pasting. Hey, Crazy Death, how's it going? Oh, you don't have to deconstruct them all. I figured you might be changing the length of the station. No, I usually just keep it the same. Uh, it's easier to convert. Okay. Because you don't have to get rid of all the trains. It's just that, like, the, the patch where you're at now, there's uh, how many stations? Five, ten, almost twenty. That station is probably going to go down to maybe four. Living with Biders, Clostorio style. I mean, maybe. I don't really find Biders to make it more that much more interesting. I find them to make it more annoying than anything. And after this project, like going back into my sending supports to space world is going to make it seem like so pathetic. But I mean, we are using like 20 servers, so can't really compare it. Is there an overview of which servers are running in the cluster cloud and how they are connected and what server handles what production? Um, yes. Vision, there is indeed. I have a very up to date one somewhere. I actually don't know where this is. Um, it's servers, uh, but it's not up to date really. Um, here, hold on, let me... Yeah, 
Not sure when we will run out. 67k. Yeah, I mean, we're producing stuff pretty good. Um, that server thing is pretty out of date. Let me, I'm going to update to get the new one. Really? Uh, why does this want me to, the fuck? Great, well, great. Now I don't rem. Why is this wanting me to re-log in to my bot? Do you self host or use commercial providers? Um, we use multiple commercial providers. You need a separate server, VM per factory instance. Um, you can run multiple ones on a BC machine, but at that point you start hitting RAM limitations. Um. Oh. I'm just an idiot, apparently. Uh, let me go ahead and add in command servers. Server. Where's the servers command? There we go. Uh, that is a really long... Thing. Okay, so here is the new distribution. Uh, here, that's the new distribution of all the servers. Uh, for anyone interested, that I just put in chat there. Make maps smaller on each node. You don't hit the perf wall, then you log into each map and play. Nicely drawn, yeah. You, it's so white. What do you mean it's white? Oh. There's no white in there. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, so we're just plowing through these mining prods right now, pretty much. As the Discord link will not show for it. Well, there's no imager link. That's what you pinned, though, PSI. Right? I looked in the pins, and that's what you pinned. I don't see an imager link of the updated one. Is it, like, not existent? And that Discord link should work for other people, too. It just worked, I'm pretty sure. I see I don't use Discord. Yeah. Um, I don't know why your browser's feeling a white hope. Mine puts a black background on it. I'm trying to find the other one that was linked by the creator of it, and now I can't find the damn thing. Oh, well. It's quite a cluster map. Oh, yeah. All right. Um... Thing is from the it's also not con connected to any rail track yeah the strain is from the stone age yep it has belts <laughs> and fast inserters i'll be back uh mac one two five one twenty five thanks for the follow welcome
man. Looking at the cloud and stuff, I think I think we've hit hit the point. I don't see anything dipping. Nice. Producing sixty seven K a minute of some and sixty four K of other sciences. Very nice. So which which patch to start on? I think I'm gonna start I'm working on, on iron five. Iron five? Yeah. Right, let's go there then. Uh, being spread out all over, you have any issues with geo lag, or are they all pretty snappy? Um, it kind of depends, Raptor. Like, I get some fairly noticeable lag, um, like latency on some servers, on others not so much. Other people are worse on some, better on others. Um, it kind of depends. You know, others, it's just like some in the US, I get like worse lag than ones in Europe, even though I'm in the US. There's a lot of factors, you know. So yeah, I mean, it is an issue sometimes, but overall, not really that much. Not so fancy with Nexus display. Ooh. Nice. So yeah, we have these little indicator lights here for stuff. For how much of all the parts there are, which is super cool. And then how much of each science. Not sure why red is low. Um, also, guys, I want to mention, uh, this is my sellout for the day, but also a general PSA. Um, <laughs> if you uh, don't know about Twitch Prime, uh, this is something you can get by linking an Amazon Prime account to Twitch. doesn't even have to be your Prime account. It could be parents, relatives, uh, and you can get Twitch Prime, which allows you to sub to anybody once a month for free. And uh, it does not auto-renew, though, so if you do use it, you need to make sure to manually renew it each month. And uh, on top of that, you get all kind of goodies. And the reason I mention this also is because uh, if you happen to play like Fortnite, uh, they just released another skin pack for that today. Uh, Heroes of the Storm, they released, I think, a week or so ago. Uh, so if you do not have Twitch Prime, but you have like Amazon Prime, you just need to connect your Amazon to your Twitch. And uh, make sure you use this up on somebody. It doesn't have to be me, uh, but it is free for you, essentially, if you are already paying for Amazon Prime. And then you get all kind of goodies and games too. They just gave out um, several actual games a little bit ago near the beginning of the month. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I'm definitely gonna grab the Fortnite skins. Like I'm using my Twitch Prime sub on Colonel Will, I think. So we have time for some private cluster streaming recording playthroughs. Uh, maybe? I don't know. I mean, what do you mean private? Like, there's nothing for me to do here. I mean, we're done. Cool, I have Prime. Nice, Tommy. Yeah, so just connect your Twi your Amazon to your Twitch. You can probably just Google search it. It's super easy to do. Um, or actually, I think I have instructions for it, maybe. Um, there's a link right there. Uh, and yeah, and then you get it. All kind of cool stuff. Why do your electricity poles glow blue if you hover over them? What do you what do you mean? They do. What you mean this this radius? Th this is their radius. That is that what you mean? Yeah, this is like the the reach radius of of stuff they can power. I mean, start over new game and do a collab with other Twitch with other YouTube Twitch peoples um, maybe I'd considered it but like the main other Twitch people 
don't aren't interested like colonel will isn't interested mojo maybe um but the like again the issue though is it's it would just be the same thing kind of all over again like we've already achieved this right and this was a huge thing to achieve but doing it again would just be kind of just a repeat right Rage just look really weird for a while and maybe i'm just tired <laughs> now don't feel bad man i uh i i miss see things a lot Hi, Xterm. On episode 10 of Clustero, you were grabbing some blueprints off people. Where are you putting Clustero blueprints up? Um, I'm not putting them anywhere. Uh, the science indicator one, I keep forgetting to link in the comments, and thank you, you just reminded me. I need to find where the hell that was even linked. Uh... Is it, come on, man. I know this. I know. Oh, here we go. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, so the, the thing is, there's like so many different builds. And a, a lot of... So the reason I'm not putting builds up is because most of them are very uh, specific to our needs in Clustorio. So they're not, um, they're not really going to be that useful, like, in an actual playthrough, if that makes sense. You marked it. Oh, what? Oh, that. Oh, nice. Yeah, so this thing here, I'll share this in the video. In fact, before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. You consider doing cluster with other mod packs like Bob's or something. Uh, we discussed that a little bit earlier in the stream, and uh, I maybe it would it would have to be very very finely tuned. I guess I still think it would be like um I still think it would be you know kind of not not that interesting, honestly. Because, like, the machines are so powerful and stuff that, um, that you could just do, like, it would just be bigger numbers, essentially, right? It is really what the main difference would be. That's so cool, yeah. So, um, I I just put it, I pinned it in the comments of episode 10 on my YouTube channel. Um, I'll put it here, too. If anyone wants that, it, it's actually an even better science display, that, that page pen I just linked. It's actually even cooler than this one here. So, you can grab it if you want. You have the ability to restrict imports and or exports of specific items, manage chest placement very easily, so you can set up quite complex rules and challenges. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to think about it. I have some other things in mind, too, that I want to do that's not cluster related, but there, I think there's definitely more potential. We just have to figure out how to go about it. Yeah, working through it to make it fun, essentially, pretty much. Um, but I am going to watch one of these science builds for a few minutes while I go get a snack. Um, yeah, this one should be fairly interesting. Uh, got try to start a boss mod world and it seemed like there was a lot more to figure out but I also stopped because it was one of my first games and there was a lot to figure out wasn't sure if it got more interesting later just more stuff to figure out uh kind of both Raptor it's like it's just super complicated all the way through and then you get like insanely overpowered machines later on that just make it possible to make like a thousand science packs a minute from one machine So yeah, we can whitelist and blacklist stuff. It's pretty cool. 
Um, so we can mess around with stuff, but you snack, I'll sleep, take care, see you later. All right, see you later, Brita. Have a have a uh, have a good sleep. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna go get a quick snack. I will be back in just a couple minutes. We need to bleed out two more trains. Like if no one's doing that, I'll just shoot these two then. Is there a good way to retrofit the system without having to change all the inserter conditions in the smelters themselves? Uh, yes. The inserters work when they're uh, when the, the the specific signal is below five, and disable when it's above. Yeah. So you just have the constant the. the um, uh, normally, when they have to be enabled, just send zero, and when they have to be disabled, send five. Would have been good to have one train here to see the length. Whoops. <laughs> Um, what's coal set for on the storage indicator array? Because it's red right now, but we've got five million. What what map, Carabar? Uh, no, uh, Nexus. No idea. Okay, I'll run over there and see what that says then. Because we've got five million, it should be green. It's probably set to ten million. Oh, that might be. Let me see if I can figure this out. If it, if it is, I should probably set it back to 5 million. 20 million. I thought we were doing all yours 10 million. Yeah, 10 million. Well, no, uh, iron ore and copper ore are 100 million, actually. Yeah. So should I uh, should I just set to five million for max? On the indicator for coal. Say what? Should I set the indicator to go to five million as green signal for coal then? Because oh, no, we're not using it as much. Hello, what's it, Bob? I'm just moving this train down one because you put it on a line that needed to be deleted. Toby, could you move, please? Thank you. Watch out for the train. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Well, I figured it's best to have it on the one you're working on. Yeah, I just wanted to know where the uh, the, the miners align, so I don't okay. mine into the gap between them <laughs> between the cargo wagons. Why do we have so, so little coal? Mm -hmm. Perhaps there's an issue with the limiting. And then again, what are we actually using the coal for? Grenades? 
Uh, you actually removed the wrong tracks, guys. Probably, probably four grenades for military science. I thought we needed to automate the tracks. Okay, sorted. Let's just remove them all. Oops, I'm all out of miners. Huh, making that change didn't actually change all that much. It's a little better. What's a little better? The circuit update time. It was at like just above 1 and now it's at 0 0.9, 0 0.8. Yeah, I mean it's still 0 0.2 less. Yeah. I really so help. I don't think we're at the UPS limit so it probably doesn't matter on this server, but... Scores you say? No, that's that's sixteen. Mm, I should have, should have brought stations. That. I want to have run-ons for everything. <coughs> oh, geez, are those clips going to be in the way? Those clips are going to be in the way. Alrighty, guys, I'm back. Um, let me check. Hey, Tommy, thank you so much for the prime sub, man. Sorry I missed that while I was away. At least you got to see me getting run over in the notification. I'm glad you got that all hooked up, and uh, I'm very grateful you used it on uh, on this channel. Thank you so much. And uh, and yeah, if you play like any mainstream games, definitely check out the rewards you can get. Like the there should be like the little crown icon up by your like profile thing. And uh, there's like Heroes of the Storm, uh, Destiny, Fortnite, all kind of stuff. That was fairly short. I kind of crammed it down. I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> so uh, I'm not really sure what else to do, guys. I mean, I'm going to have to go in like half an hour anyways. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, I, we, could, we could just podcast. I can just talk to you guys. Oh, this is going to be an episode. So <laughs> that may not be too entertaining for people watching the episode, unfortunately. Um Yeah, I'm not really, like, like I said, we're, we're pretty much done. Like, we've achieved our goal. I mean, I'm going to do a last episode, like, touring everything and such, but that's not going to be now, obviously. So, I mean, damn, even while I was gone, we just knocked out, like, eight or nine mining prods at, you know, 135,000 apiece. <laughs> um, oh, if we look at all-time produced... This is a little bit nuts. This actually, so, um, we have produced a total of 300, about 300, most of these, uh, military is low because we don't make much of that. Purple may have been made somewhere else for a bit, um, but we've produced about 375 million of each science pack. And we can look at consumption. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, just for yeah, 
just for science, we've um, on this server we've consumed four hundred million blue circuits. That is the that is twenty times the green circuit achievement, but for blue circuits. That's actually way hard. I'm not sure why this is actually so high, but um, it's a little bit nuts, man. 133 million level one speed modules. This is a bit nuts. Like, I wonder if there's some way we could get like combined production stats from all the servers. That would be pretty cool. Like 100k. And also remove the miner opposite of that. Okay. I was going to make sure we've got the maximum setup, and then I was going to go through and do any alterations that you required. Yeah, I just... I was basically throwing off the edges here. Checking out Lyric with Lyric. Okay. And here I go and reapply them to then trim them off again. These two have 100k, so that's good. Okay, this one only has 74. Is that good enough, or should it go? As in the yeah, opposite yeah. one has 130. Yeah. Let's just remove, remove it. We have the external graphing thingy that tracks this code's global deduction. We do? Where is that? I didn't know about that. Or copper cable, then produce. Someone's making copper elsewhere. Um, yeah, what what happened? Why? Where, where is that? Graph. I didn't I didn't think I knew about that. Okay, so this imports copper. We direct insert the cable. That's a that's a good way to do it. Wow, oh, this actually doesn't use as many bots as I thought it would. Um, hey there, Nola. What's going on? Can you link it? Oh, it's pinned? Oh, well, if it's pinned in general, I can probably find it. Maybe. Um, I don't see it. Just messing with your servers. <laughs> um, I don't see that pinned in general. Hey, JD, what's going on, man? Uh, just messing with. Uh, yes, we have hit the magic 60k, JD. We are. We're cooking. We're. That's why I haven't done much. There's not much to do. We are making 60k, we're consuming 60k. So far, we cannot find a bottleneck right now. Um, so we are just plowing through. Uh, it actually looks like copper ore is declining. So that may need to be fixed. Uh, with this mining prod, I can't imagine that we don't have enough mining for it. Match on this mod is crazy. I know, right? Let me see if I can find it. Start upgrading for 100k. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if I'm up for that. That that requires a lot of redoing of stuff. Which makes my brain hurt. Damn it. I just had to install a new... email thing on my phone, and I can't make it work correctly.
Bring this big brain to glow exterminator. <laughs> uh, can you send me the login info, Hope? Because I don't know what it is. Now do Bob's mods. <laughs> We've talked about that a bit. Just add more servers and ratio than for 40k. Well, I mean, yeah, but at that point it's just copy-paste, which isn't that entertaining, is it? Gotta realize one thing, anyone who's gonna try to beat us is gonna have to dish out some serious money on hardware. Well, yeah. I don't even know if anyone's really prepared to try to beat us, honestly. Has been suggested more than once, yes. Total connected instances, 10. Uh, endpoints on the... I don't see... Production per minute, is this... Is it, So this is global, these production numbers? Well, this is per minute. I was hoping for a total. So we're making like 7 mil copper cable a minute, 4.6 million iron plate per minute, 2.4 million green circuits a minute, 7.2 million petroleum a minute. I only said I missed the whole series and not catch it when it started. Would love to join. Uh, well, we may do it again, uh, Peppo. I mean... Yeah. I mean, we may do it again. Different variants. Change the re report resolution. What? Dude, I don't know how to work these sites. Making the green circuit 20 mil achievement every 10 minutes or so. Yeah, isn't that nuts? We're getting the green circuit achievement every 10 minutes. There's 50 save files. Yeah, we can't really get... Um, we use a lot. We use, like, 30 nodes now. Um, so first let me actually answer, um, Natrim. Uh, for my megabases, there is, uh, save files, kind of. Uh, Matrim, there's a save file for my 4K science per minute base on Patreon. Um, but you do have to be a patron to get access to it. There's also a save file of my belt base that I'm transitioning into megabase. Uh, which is on my Patreon, but anybody can access it if you'd like it there. Uh, and then previous series I've done, like the Mad Science series and the 015 simulation series, I believe all those saves should be accessible on like the last episode of the series. Um, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, so, Pigato, I'm a little new here. Mind showing me the map? Well... This is one of the maps. Uh, with Clustroia, we have many, many servers all working together. So this is only one map. This is the map that makes science. It needs to be moved over one tile. Sorry, JD, you're gonna have to move this, man. So we make 60,000 science a minute of each type. Here's red. Green is very similar. And then blue is over here. Wow, that's still green. Here's blue. Somewhere in the upper part, you can switch the time frames you're switching the grass for. Okay, I'll have to check that. Hey, Mojo, what's going on? What are we unbreaking? Uh, pretty much, it's all done. I th we've pretty much achieved our goal. You need to move it. Uh, hey. 
I built it how I want it. If you don't like it, you can move all the other designs. <laughs> Uh, I, I see a refresh rate that I can change. Like, all Australians I know are in chat. Yeah, dude. We're just missing a nominate. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, this is, this is, uh, what we're doing it, guys. I mean... Almost mining prod 1360. I would actually be interested, like, what the highest um, mining prod someone's achieved is. The highest I know of is like 1100 or something, maybe. I don't remember. We need some sort of like auto research mod for this, though. Because someone has to constantly be changing it unless we do a bot speed. Wait, nominate is from Australia. You seriously hope? His accent is like super, super, um, un like Australian recognizable. Nine 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 without cheats. Well, who reached nine 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 without cheats? Um, okay, well, guys, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop off. I'm really tired. I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. Um, he's more Australian than both me and Mojo. <laughs> yeah. How much is that research? Um, it is 135,900 science per research. The, uh, bot speed is... 262 million, if that puts it in perspective. This one is, I don't even know what that is. What What is that, 65 million? Yeah, this one's 65 million. This one is 19 million. So, uh, and we just finished it, boom. So we're knocking these out in two minutes still. Uh, anyway, so I think I'm going to head out, guys. A little bit of information, though, before you go. Um, I have been streaming Fridays the last couple weeks. I will not be this week um, because I am actually, I'm heading up to my parents um, to spend like a week with them for Mother's Day and my dad's birthday. Uh, but I will still be like recording on like releasing videos and streaming on my other normal days, but I'm actually leaving Friday, so I can't stream. Uh, however, Saturday, big event. If you are around Saturday at about, it should start at like, I think it's starting at like 2.30 p.m. Central Time, uh, which would be like 1.30 Mountain Time, and I don't remember all the other time zones, but... Um, there is a big PvP event. Clown Town's hosting it. We've done several in the past. They've been awesome. Uh, Anti Elite's participating. Uh, several other other big PvP teams are participating. Um, I'm going to be shoutcasting it with Clown Town, which is going to be a lot of fun. And I will be streaming it. So Saturday, if you're around, um, definitely look out for that. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be really awesome. And uh, 5 a.m. for <laughs> Australians, of course. That's uh, that's your time zone. Yeah, so get up early, JD. <laughs> Considering you just now woke up, that might be a little difficult for you. Um, but uh, yeah, so Saturday, definitely check out for that. No stream Friday, uh, but hopefully a stream Monday. Uh, and then next Wednesday, uh, a mod spotlight just went out. A uh, hovercraft mod. Check it out if you're interested. Very cool mod. And uh, if you haven't looked at my YouTube, uh, that's where most of my content is. Uh, I do Let's Plays, Spotlights, uh, Friday Facts discussions, stuff like that. And uh, I think that's going to do it, guys. Um, this VOD will go up on YouTube my tonight in like four or five hours if you missed it. And um, then tomorrow, probably a Software Inc. And maybe the last episode of this. 
Nice, reasonable, 9 a.m. in New Zealand. Yeah, there you go. Well, you got up for the last one, Mojo, but man, I could tell you were tired. I'm sure the partner would love the fact that I got up super early on Mother's Day and was watching Twitch. I'm sure it would be fine. Uh, so yeah, there, there's all the info, guys. And also, if you subbed or you are a sub um, and you have Discord and you're in my Discord, make sure you link your Discord to your Twitch. I had a couple people today um, asking why they didn't have their rank. Um, you need to link your Discord to your Twitch to get your sub rank in my Discord. Um, I think that's it. Thank you so much for all these subs, both the Twitch Prime subs and the normal subs, the follows, and uh, the extremely generous, awesome donation from Jason. I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the day. I will see you Saturday um, about three hours before right now on Saturday. And uh, if you need anything, catch me on Discord. Join the Discord if you haven't. I look forward to talking to you all, and I will see you in a couple days and on YouTube. Have a good one.